Folks, we down here just a little south of Andalusia on a dog hunt, public land, Alabama. We got dogs running all over the place. It's gonna be a damn good day. Y'all stick with us. They coming. I'll get y'all so y'all can see. Come on. Okay, it. Man. Come on, boy. Thought I was gonna get a shot right here. Dogs come up there and they smelt me and turned back. After this, nothing really happened. Just played out. Went on to the next hunt, caught the dogs. Y'all stay with me. Maybe we'll get a shot at one. Right here is where I learned a very valuable lesson on chest mounts. See right there in my gun strap. Couldn't see the shot. Won't never wear a chest mount again. Hunting at least, trying to kill something with a gun because it, it just doesn't work out. First time for everything. And I jumped in the truck immediately right then so them dogs didn't get over there on the private land. Dad was coming around. You'll hear me talking to him on the walkie-talkie, trying to get all these dogs caught up, get back on another one. Y'all stay tuned. I just shot at a damn fine rack buck. He's about to cross out there at the highway. Turn around. Keeping these dogs where we could hunt is our main concern instead of them getting on private land and having confrontations all that we try to keep that not even to a minimum to no conflicts at all that's why it's so intense right here in the truck trying to keep these dogs maintained <clears throat> winds up didn't hit this buck just turned him from the road and got back in the head yeah he's been a he went down there and went past the a woman, she killed him with a 20 gauge. Wound up being a 210 pound, eight point, three and a half years old, fine buck, especially for a woman to kill. Proud we got him. Started off the second day with a bang, as y'all see right here. See that shining stuff? That's a beaver pond. Old boy that shot a buck coming into the head. We was hunting. We packed to him and they bait him. He broke out of a fish pond, come to this beaver pond right here. I'm down in there waiting. Dad comes down in there, and then his lifelong buddy come down in there. We was all three out there looking for that deer, getting them dogs out of there. Got so cold, it was burning. I'm going to let this play on out a little bit, get a feel for South Alabama beaver pond. 
never recovered the deer. They looked, looked, turned more dogs out on the other side. No sign of him. Don't know if he drowned. What There were some places out there over your head. We didn't have no waders or a boat. This was in the middle of woods. It was rough. Let's get y'all out of that ball busting water. It was freezing. Get on over to the last hunt of the last day. I got me a fine can of sardines. Got caught right off here. guard. Been to eat these babies up. That's some crackers. We waiting on the dogs to jump. Got some dogs in here running. Can't hardly hear those winds blowing. Starting right here, I thought I heard them dogs, and then this happened. Got crapped on by a little little buck. I could have shot him, but it was just in the nick of time. But he was a little too small. That pretty much winds it up. I hope y'all enjoyed it. There's going to be a lot more. Y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.